first. I thought that it was all in my head. I know that there's something in this house. Okay. When we meet June Abbott, she is living with her boyfriend who seems to adore her. She works actually cleaning up crime scenes, which is a very interesting line of work for her. She's not sleeping anymore. Her mother is in danger and she goes to a stranger. She goes to Annie Barlow. What if it's something else? What if somehow he found a way to come back? Because I guess I had done all the work already in finding the character, so it was, I already knew who she was. And it was such a cool thing to be a part of. Yeah, I was excited that there was going to be a sequel. Why are you so convinced that it's Judas? Well, I was a huge fan of the first movie, so I was really excited for her to come to set. And we were kind of sharing almost war stories of like, oh, did you have to do this? And what did this feel like? And what was this moment like? He wants us to go upstairs. In the Pact One, it was like every scene I was almost by myself. Um, so it was cool to be able to work with Camilla. <laughs> And she was inspiring to me because she had done the process and she kicked butt on it and she did an amazing job. So I sort of looked to her as someone that had been through the Judas Killer experience. If this is anything like what I dealt with, it's not worth it. And you should get out of here. This is my first time working on a low budget horror movie. We had to do an enormous amount of pages every single day. Everyone needed to be on it, and they were. Slow down here, she's facing that way. She turns, cut to this with the real knife. It's just really fun. 